Okay, this video is about um, configuring the ETH0 interface on a Raspberry Pi. Um, so there may be a case where it is um, handy um, to connect a cable between two Pis and, uh, and set up you know, probably the simplest network you can imagine. Um, no switches, just a cable, hook two Pis together and, um, and have them communicate. Um, this is this can be you know if you've got say a remote camera or um, you know you want to keep things simple you don't want to use Wi-Fi um, it, it, this can be a handy handy thing to do all right so um, so I've got two pies here <clears throat> this pie here is hooked up to a display and this pie is not I'm going to configure this here with a static IP address. And um, this one already has a static IP address, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But I'm going to connect them together with this yellow Ethernet cable here. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to connect them like that. And so this cable's not special. It's not a crossover cable. If you've been doing networking for a while, um, the Pi auto detects. Um, so you don't have to go and, and try to track down a crossover cable because you're not using a switch or anything here. Um, the, the Pi will auto detect and it will it will figure it out. All right, so let's go and figure out what we need to do on the Pi to make this happen. Oops. All right, so here is here is the Pi, and so if I um, come up here to this interface up here and I right click, oh sorry, well, came up here and I went over and I right click, and I select the wireless and network setting. Set it up like this. I can program in an address. Now, sometimes you're hooked up to the in something that has a DHT server, maybe a home router, something like that, where it will it will serve up an address for you. That's that's fine. In this case, we don't have anything like that, so we're going to hard code that address. And so I'm going to disable both of these boxes, and then I'm going to make the address 192.168.0.10. And the dot 10 part is arbitrary here, or in fact, the whole address is arbitrary. It doesn't really matter what it is, but this is kind of a conventional sort of non routable home, home router sort of address. And it's going to be a slash 24 address, which that, that basically is specifying what's called the net mask. Not to get into networking really here. I would say if you have questions about that, go look at it. But basically, it, it basically is um, how much of the address is significant. All right. Well, on this particular network. So, again, this dot 10 is somewhat arbitrary. Now, on the other board, it's going to have a different address. It's going to have dot 11. So, it'll be 192.168.0.11 slash 24. So, that's going to be my address on the other side. All right, so let's go over here. And so, if I look at my Ethernet, See the light there is blinking. That that light is blinking, um, saying that it's that it's got a link between you know between the two two machines. And if you look at the other machine, it's blinking too. Nothing's really going across, but at least tells you that the link is up. Now, let's say that you don't have that. You've got something has not quite gone right here. You can do here. Come down here and type to server networking. And it will restart the service, and then after it uh, chews on it a little bit, you can click Shift Config, look at it again, and you should have your IP address. All right, so, okay, so presumably you've done that on the other side. Um, uh, you, know, you, can, you can pause the video and go do that on the other side, put another other pie up, and it'll, again, it'll have not the address by 10, it'll have address dot 11 on the other pie. And so let's, let's see if we can talk to it. So I'm just going to 
setting up um, a static IP address um, on the uh, the Raspberry Pi.